So I get asked two questions pretty regularly. One, what nib should I use in my stylus? And the answer there is the Wacom felt tips, as long as your stylus will use it. But two, how do I get my handwritten notes off of my tablet and into my PKM system? So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the easiest ways I know to get your notes off of your super note, books, and remarkable devices and into your PKM system, something like Obsidian or Notion. Stick around. So before we dig into how, we should probably dig into why you wanna get your handwritten notes into your PKM system. For me, I usually use my e-ink tablet as a place to sketch ideas and orient my thoughts or to just start a rough draft. To me, I usually think of this as a throwaway step to get the ball rolling. It's a rough non-linear outline or sketch to my conscious self to better understand my thoughts or to unpack the problem at hand. With that said, sometimes I do like what comes out and I think it has merit to share with others or even just to my future self in my PKM system. And at that point, I've got to figure out how I want to package it up. All of the tablets that I'm going to show you today can export images of your handwriting either via PNG or PDF. But if you want to share your handwritten notes as type text, then your options limit a little bit. All of this is going to ultimately come down to workflow and finding a flow that you could see yourself doing and getting your notes off of your device and into a long-term home that you can share with yourself or with others. So let's dig into it. So on the Supernote, the best way I've found to get my handwritten notes off of the device is through the Supernote cloud. So the Supernote does not have a dedicated app that you install on your computer, but you can go to the Supernote website, cloud.supernote.com, and log in with your account, and then all of your notes are available here. So if I open up this initial testing note, it'll pull open all of those notes, and then I can find the page I want, and then I can save it. So I forgot a key detail about the Supernote, which is if you want to have your notes available in the Supernote cloud, you have to pull down from the top and then hit the sync button, and then it's gonna sync all of the notes into the cloud. That's gonna take a second. I'll fast forward this a little bit so that you don't have to bear through how long the actual sync takes. See if we can put some elapsed time in here to show sort of how disruptive this is. This is not exactly fast. Okay, synchronization is complete. So now what I do is I go over to the Supernote Cloud website and I'm gonna refresh and now it's got that new updated at time, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and pull open that note and see here comes the challenge, which is you now have to wait for it to convert. So we had to wait to sync it and now we have to wait for it to convert. So this is a pretty big barrier in integrating this into my workflow because I don't wanna to wait to see all this. So here we go, now it's loaded. I'm gonna to go to page 23 and there is my document. Now they make it really nice to save it here. You just right click on it because it's a web page, and then I can save it right there. So that's great. Here's my note and the quality looks good. Quality is good. Um, and then I can just paste that into Obsidian. So from within Obsidian, I can start a new document. Let's say this is on Supernote writing quality. And it pertains to the Supernote A5X. And then I can just right click on this image, copy, paste, and then it's there. Great. You can do the same thing in Notion. Pretty sure you could do this in any PKM system. So that's how we can get images from our Supernote onto our device. So when it comes to trying to get your handwriting as type text on the Supernote, you're a little stuck. You can't use the typical handwritten document format. You actually have to go into their Word document mode. So let me walk you through that. So instead of hitting a new file up here in the top right, you hit this new Word document, and that's gonna take you into a completely different mode. It's kind of a text editing mode. You have to go into this markup mode and then you can hand write and it will convert. Oh, I have to and I double tap on it and then it'll it'll convert it. The handwriting conversion is actually pretty decent most of the time. This is not a great representation of it. It's a bit of a mixed bag. I don't love that I have to go into a different document format. Um, it seems like they could integrate this together if they really wanted to. If getting typed text off of your e-ink tablet is a key workflow for you, I don't think the Supernote is it. Unless you do just highly structured content where you're effectively marking up Word documents on your device, I think that can work. 
It just doesn't happen to be my workflow. Let's move on to the books. So with anything sharing, the books always has a great upper hand in that it runs full Android and you can run just about any app here that you want. So for me, as far as getting your images off of your device, I use Google Drive and then I just share them out. And so if I just hit share, this will give me a vector PDF or a PNG and then I can just export directly and then I can just share straight into Google Drive. If you wanted to get really clever, you could probably export this directly into Obsidian. But for me, my workflow is just sharing it to Drive and then copying it off of Drive into where I want. So let's do that. And so there you go. So that file is there. If I open up Drive, so let's call this one Supernote. Beneath that, let's put the books. And then I can just drag that PNG into there. Now on the books, you can get your handwriting off of it. So let's do that. So for this one, you're gonna go into the dot, dot, dot menu and you're gonna go into AI recognition and then you're gonna go into reflow recognition. Books technically does a great job here. The quality of the text recognition is great, but it can be a little slow and a little bit unreliable. If I needed 100% reliability, I'm not sure the books is where I would go with it. The first few months of having the books, I was convinced that the handwriting recognition just didn't work in general, just because it would take minutes to convert. And so that's kind of what we're seeing here. I'm gonna fast forward it a little bit just so you don't have to wait quite so long. Yeah, it's still very interruptive to the workflow. I also find it interesting that the books devices don't know the word books, B-O-O-X, and it always converts it into box. And I just find that hilarious. From there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight the text and hit share. And then you can share that just like we just did. So I'll pull up drive over here. We'll leave and come back. And there you go. There's our text, and then we'll open that up, and we'll have the text. And in this case, it didn't get the, the lines quite right. The app, books, is only okay. <laughs> in this case, actually more accurate than I would have thought. Yeah, it again, still a little bit of a mixed bag, um, but that is the workflow on the books. Lastly, let's jump over to the Remarkable. So on the Remarkable, I can run landscape mode, which I actually have found that I really like. This is running the new 3.0 beta where you can actually have pages of different size. So I can actually write for a while. So there's my document, it's all here. And from here, if I wanna share, the workflow is a little bit different. Instead of exporting off of the device, I can just close out of here and it will share. In this case, I've got an update. And then I open the Remarkable app. All right, from here I have two options depending on how good a quality I want. If quality is not a huge deal, I will just take a screenshot. So I'll hit Command Control Shift 4 and that'll give me a cursor where I can grab something. And then I can just paste that over into Obsidian. So let's say Remarkable 2 and then I can just paste the image. Quality here is not great. This is probably not how I would do it. Um, but you can also just hit document export and then say PNG and it'll export the whole document. And what makes this really special is how remarkably fast it is. From closing the document on my Remarkable to pulling it up in the app, it's instant. Everything is optimized for my time and not making me wait. So from here, I just hit file export and then it's gonna be in my downloads folder. And from here, I can just drag that into Obsidian. And the quality there is gonna be really good. Yeah, it, it, it's not perfect, but it's pretty decent. And I love now that you're not constrained to a eight and a half by 11 style sheet of paper. You can go as long as you need. Let's get the handwriting off the device. So for that, we're gonna go back into the document. We're gonna open the side menu and we're gonna hit share. And instead of send by email on the 3.0 beta, you can now convert notes to text directly on the page. 
This is a long document, so it's going to take a second. I will also speed this up so that you get a realistic idea. I'm going to close out of the document on the Remarkable. And then I'm going to pull up that page in the Remarkable and you'll see that newly added page. From here, I can just highlight the text and copy and paste. And then I'll hop back over to Obsidian and we'll paste in our notes. So the annoying part with this is that it does not include new lines in what you copy and paste. So it all comes in as one little jumble and I really wish instead it would include those new lines. Um, I'm hopeful that this is just part of the 3.0.0 beta and that they'll improve this in a future release. But this is the fastest workflow I've found for getting my handwritten notes into text. Again, I don't do this for everything, but it does save me a little bit of time when I started out to rough draft my ideas and it turned out to be something that I wanted to share in text form. It saves me from having to write all of that from scratch again. Where I feel e-ink tablets shine are as thinking devices, tools for thought, if you will. They should be where you get those rough ideas out of your mind that will ultimately inform that more polished final draft. But if your goal is perfectly typed meeting notes, I think you should probably start by typing them from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, you'd probably also like my Obsidian Vault Tour. I'll have that linked over here on the side if you want to go check it out. Thanks a lot and have a great day.